Let me explain something. Let me refresh something. What is the function of the neutral? Can you refresh me? You have the hot, and you have the neutral, and you have the ground. What is the function of the neutral? Return. Return. No? Excuse me, I have a, in the source 120 volts, 10 amps. And uh, those, those 120, 10 amps activate a motor that only requires 5 amps. The rest of the current return to the neutral. No? That's, that's the function. Ah, okay, nice. And uh, where normally should be connected the neutral and the ground? At the source of the power. Where is the source of the power? On the generator, in the back end, neutral and ground are together, and after, after that, they go separated. In the inverter also, or in the transformer, on the pedestal, you remember? Those are considered sources of power. On that point, the neutral and ground are together. What happened inside of the boat, neutral and ground? Separate. Separate, all the time. Never, never together, separate. When I connect my short power cable, Here, with the pedestal, I am receiving hot, neutral, and ground from the marina, from that house, from that building. What happens if the neutral, the ground, the hot, if that power is no good, that power enter in my boat and contaminate my boat? Remember, the ground should be, in the ground, normally should be zero, zero point something. What happens if I have flowing through the ground constantly? Six volts. That's normal? Six volts in the ground constantly? Wow, it's a lot of current. No, I have 0.01. All right, that's, that's normal. It's normal because it's draining currents. But at six volts, three volts, that's not good. How is possible that uh, in the ground of your home, you check the ground and you have six volts? Pay attention, remember that uh, at the source of the power, neutral and ground are together. Okay, pay attention. What happens if one appliance in your home, when the appliance is running, the hot is touching the metal? You are sending constantly that, that voltage. Ah, if I have one equipment with a problem, that equipment is contaminating my ground, and right now I have in my ground six volts flowing constantly. I need to identify which one is the element that is contaminated. Suppose that in this pedestal, I have four volts flowing through the ground, and I connect my short power cable to my boat. And now, here, I connect the short power cable here to this pedestal, and this ground in the pedestal is contaminated. What happened right now in my boat? In my boat, enter 120, and the ground with six volts. Pay attention. Enter six volts, and this is the bonding conductor. This is the bonding conductor. All the metallic elements are connected, connected to the bonding. And this bonding conductor is connected externally with with zinc. with the anodes. In this particular case, anodes of zinc. I am going in this moment because I connect to this short power. No good. I introduce here four volts, four volts in the bonding conductor. What happened in this moment in that boat? All the metallic elements connected with that bonding conductor are affected with four volts. Let me explain something. This through hole is connected to that bonding. And now, in this through hole is flowing four volts constantly. What happened if I have my boat connected to that short power two weeks? Fully corroded, and if I have balls in a steel, uh, aluminum, copper, some different metals together here, in one moment, this metal is eroded and perforated. And what happened? Water enter. And bingo, finito. During the weekend, the boat sink. After the inspection, the insurance sent the inspector. They found that two through holes perforated for corrosion. And they found that after the inspection, one cable touching the block of the starboard engine constantly positive. And that cable 
produce the four balls or blah, blah, blah. They discovered that the problem was over there. Wow. In this particular case, I have four balls coming through the ground from the pedestal. How can I protect my boat to avoid that those four balls through the ground enter and affect my boat? I need to install a filter here, a filter here. What is the name of that filter? Galvanic isolator is the name of that filter. It's this. Look, the ground coming from the, the, from the pedestal enter in my galvanic isolator and after that continue and enter in the bonding conductor and after the bonding conductor I connect with the external sacrificial anode. What is the function of this element? Block the intrusion of bad currents coming from the short power. Internally, that element is a group of diodes. The diodes in one direction allow, in the other direction block. You remember that, no? It's a group of diodes with capacitors. What is the function? The diode block and stores the energy in a capacitor. And the capacitor dissipate the energy. Look at this, look at this, what is this? Phase of the, of the metal by heat is capacitor with diode. In normal condition, I have my boat connected to that short power. My boat is good, it's, it's not corroded. But uh, Mr. Lopez, I touch the galvanic isolator. It's not hot, but it's warm, it's normal. Indicate what? Indicate that it's filtrating, it's blocking something. Indicate that probably that pedestal is not good. Check the pedestal, because it's warm, it's working. 